Hey guys, Jeff Rodmeyer here with athletic-mission.com. We are a membership facility that focuses on player development for baseball players. I'm dealing with a little bit of a cold this morning, so please bear with me as I work through that. Occasionally, I will get a player who, in our program, who comes to me and asks me why he perceives to not be progressing as fast as another kid in our program. And in some cases, his assessment right, and in some cases, they're not. So aside from maybe this kid being a little more athletic, because being more athletic means you can feel things, therefore you can make adjustments quicker. And that's something that we're going to talk about later in another video. But what I explained to them is that they understand how to work. They understand how to work hard. And what we like to explain to them is that there are four levels of worth that thing. And these guys that you perceive to be progressing faster than you are able to work through these levels, level one, level two, level three, and eventually on to level four, faster than most. And then there are guys that don't make jump at all, and they find themselves looking around and everyone just passing by them in their development. Because they understand how to work. So today I want to share with you guys this conversation that I have with our kids to get them to understand how to work so that they can develop as they desire. One thing we have to understand and remember is kids have to be taught how to work. There's a lot of assuming going on that kids understand what we're talking about and most of the time they have no clue. So you got to you got to explain everything. So let's get into uh, the different levels of worth ethic. One thing I recognized when I got into the coaching side of things that not everyone will have the tools and the ability to play professional baseball. We can't make everybody a rock star. But what we can do is teach them how to maximize their own potential and teach them the skills that they need to have a successful career outside of baseball or within baseball if their abilities and their tools allow. Baseball plays a huge role in who I am and I'm forever grateful for the lessons that the game has taught me. So as I realized this, I quickly shift my focus to teaching kids about processes and routine and how to work hard. I've taken my experience as a former player, a coach, and a facility owner to give back to the game that helped shape me as a person. If you get anything out of this video, please be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you are notified when I release a new video. We're gonna release two to three videos a week. When I sit back and I think about the kids that have trained with us for six months to a year, and I'm sure a lot of coaches and instructors and facility owners that are watching this can relate. At the end of that six month to a year, they're either gonna be successful or they're gonna realize that they don't wanna do what it takes to play at a higher level. Because what happens is, is, up to that point, the success and what it takes to advance in the game is a mystery. It's mystified. We're just throwing things against the wall. But here with us, if the kid wants, the path is laid out and it's defined. And it's a path that get better every single day. It's more detailed than it was three to four years ago, and it continues to get better every day. So this is what you need to do, and this is what you need to do consistently in order to achieve X. What happens is that there's no longer a mystery of what it takes to advance this game, and it forces the players and parents to confront whether or not they still want to do this. When they're confronted, it's either a yes or no. And if it's a yes, then they will succeed. And they will advance as far as their abilities and their tools will take them. And they will have a process that will help them get to that next level. 
And if it's a no, then they realize that it, it's not that they don't know what it's gonna take anymore. It's that I'm not sure I wanna do what it's gonna take. And, and now we have a different question. So, that brings us back to today's topic, which is how do we work? When you ask kids what separates you from the next guy, a majority of them are gonna tell you that they work harder. Everyone thinks they work hard, yet their results may not always reflect that. So let's go through the four levels of the work that I talked that I talked to these kids about, and it's something that I learned from uh, one of my mentors. So in the beginning, you don't know how to work. You don't even understand the concept of hard work. And we've all had players like there then, and a lot of us were there at one point too. And some of us may still be. So but for us here at Athletic Mission in Tulsa, Oklahoma, we are process and routine driven. It means that everyone that joins our program comes in and they get right to work and they perform everything that they're expected to. And when we get someone new that joins, they, get, they go through the introductory process of the routine and, and the clock start ticking from when they would go from level one to level two. So level one is you, you, can, you show up and you can perform basic work. Does a guy get to work right away the next time he comes? Or is he expecting someone to take him through that same process, that same routine? Does he need to be introduced to it again, two times, three times, 10 times? We'll take them through as much time as they need, but it starts to paint a, paint a story as to how quick this guy is gonna be able to get to level two. Now, some kids never get to level two, and therefore they get passed by on the guy that did reach level two in their development. So what's level two? Level two is you learn how to work. You do the repeatable task. That's not always mentally stimulating. For example, for us, our guys come in and they do a series of things such as mobility work, dry work, vision work, balance work, arm care, all of which can be super boring. But the guys that reach level two have learned how important that part of their development it's going to help them get to be where they want to be at the baseball player so when you when you're at level two or at level one you show up and you give reasonable effort and remember this because kids show up kids show up because they're because they're, they're forced to they do a drill because they're forced to they show up in practice because they're forced to they go to the weight room because they're forced to they show up at the training session because they're forced to. But it's the ones that show up and be mentally engaged and deliberate are the ones that make it to level two. And again, most kids don't get to level two. And then at some point, you get to a point where you reach level three. And at level three, you're learning to be more efficient at doing hard work. You're learning to chunk your time so you can get the most out of the amount of work that you get done. So for kids to show up, it means that they're gonna be present. No felt felt, no distraction. And they're gonna make sure that every single rep is done and performed with a purpose. And then you get to level four. And this is where there's no longer a trade-off between more and better. You have to revert the characteristic trait that you built to get to level four and learn what you need to start saying no to. You understand what you need to do to be productive and be effective. There are things that you are doing, drills you are doing, events that you are participating in, food that you are eating that you should not be eating or not be doing. No, you have to ask what is the greatest return for your effort? And I'm reminded, I had a conversation with Dana Cavalier one time. He's the former strength and conditioning coach for the New York Yankees. I had him on my, on my podcast. 
And he told me, he showed me that Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter, Mariano Rivero, and all those other guys, they follow a routine and a process. They are constantly checking in boxes every single day. There's nothing sexy about the work they're putting in. It's just repeatable effort done with a purpose. He also shared that these guys live and die by their routine. If you want to mess up a major league's career, you start messing with their routine. He also said you have to stick with something long enough to see if it works. In this industry, there's a lot of kids chasing the silver bullet. So, let's recap. Level one, you show up and you give reasonable effort. Level two, you understand how to work, how to do repeatable effort that is not mentally stimulating and perform it with a purpose. Number three, you understand how to chunk your time and be present and productive and effective at what you're doing. Number four, you learn what to say no to and perform the work that yields you the best return for your effort. So when you see other kids and players advance faster in life and in their development, it's because they move through these levels of work faster than you have. If you're a parent or you're a coach and you wonder why a player isn't advancing, it's usually because they don't understand how to work. And some kids will never have it. And that's okay. But you can't lose sleep because I lose a lot of sleep over a kid not meeting milestone in a desirable time frame in their development. Working hard is a skill. The more you work and advance through the levels, the better you get at working. But we have to remember that kids are kids. And some of them don't want to work as hard right now. And we don't want to try, we don't want to turn them away from the game. But these kids also, not the ones we're talking about. And they would never wonder why they're not progressing as fast. But the parents of these kids need to understand that too. So I hope this understands, this helped you understand the different level of work and, and make sure that you explain it to your kid because they don't know what they don't know. So if you got any questions, comment or concern, please leave a comment below. Thank you. Catch you next time.